For years, Radovan Karadzic lived a normal life as someone else, someone who wasn't the world's most wanted war criminal. And friends really had no idea who they were kissing, who they were shaking hands with. His brother Luca has led the protest to free him to block his extradition. Now he knows the battle's over and the fight has been lost. Radovan Karadzic will soon be facing war crimes charges in The Hague. At the edge of the latest demonstration, he spoke at length about the events of the last week and he gave Al Jazeera a hint of how his brother managed to evade capture for so long. He's a smart and skillful man. He knows the spirit of the people. I don't know how he fell after so many years. It was probably a big act of treason. What happened is still unclear to me and to him. But one day it will be clear what actually happened. Luka Karadzic has gone every day to the special court in Belgrade to visit his older brother. Together they've discussed the charges Radovan Karadzic faces. Both believe they will soon be dismissed. I don't think anything positive about the tribunal. The indictment was written and all the worst things that could be put into it have been. But there is no link with my brother and there is no link with what actually happened in Bosnia and there is no link with the behavior of the Serbian people and the Serbian fighters in that war. His brother says the former Bosnian Serb leader is proud of his role during the war and he doesn't fear spending the rest of his life behind bars. He's not afraid of that and he doesn't think about it at all. He's proud of everything what happened there. And this is not a question about Radovan Karadzic and his destiny. The question is what he did for the Serbian people and what he did for the other side, for Muslims and Croats. But nobody would like to give a fair picture of that, but Radovan Karadzic will show that in court with a lot of witnesses and documents. Luka Karadzic insists the man accused of planning the death of thousands is not the brother he knows. People who know him, they know that Radovan is not a man like that. He's a doctor, he's a humanist, he's a poet, he's an intellectual, a man who helped many Muslims and Croats and Serbs. And even in his second identity as Dr. Dabic, he treated members of every nationality. Radovan Karadzic's new identity fooled everyone for years. When he makes it to the dock in The Hague, there will be no doubt who he is or what he's charged with. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Belgrade.